Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these really cool uh, pop out stream overlays. I think they look pretty nice. If you watched my last video, no it wasn't my last video, it was, um, it was a my last episode of client work. You can see that I actually used this effect on uh, both the stream overlays and I thought it looked pretty cool so I thought, you got, I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. So um, yeah, so first off what we need to do is we need to find the picture that we're going to base it on. So I literally just got this picture off Google, uh, I, all I did was type in Rocket League wallpaper. Obviously you don't have to use Rocket League, you could use Call of Duty or anything else. And uh, what you want to do is you want to go to search tools and then make sure it's larger than uh, 800 by 600 just so it's a decent quality. And uh, you just want to scroll down and I just found this picture so I thought I'd use it. And uh, yeah, so uh, what you want to do is, what the well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to fil file new and uh, we're going to use the dimensions 1920 by 1080 just because these are the HD dimensions that most streamers use and even if it's not they can just downsize it themselves. So uh, yeah, these are the dimensions we're going to use, we're going to press OK. And um, yeah, so first off we're going to do is we need to make this banner up here and uh, this webcam part here just so we can, uh, just so we have a place to base our stream overlay on. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in, we can just press command and then the plus as the shortcut to zoom in. And uh, we're going to make a new layer just like that. And then we're going to make sure that black is our foreground color. And we're, gonna, we're just going to make the banner first. So we're just going to use our pen tool and uh, we're going to make just a regular shape. We're going to hold shift to make sure that we're going to use straight lines and uh, we're just going to match it all up and uh, yeah so once you've done that you're going to right click go to make selection press ok and then uh, we can just press um, alt and backspace to fill the selection with our foreground color and uh, now you can see that we have this banner at the top and I think I'm going to I want to make it a bit longer so we're just going to extend it out a little bit, a little bit. we're going to press M to use our selection tool which is right here and then we can just select and then we can just hold alt and just drag across and there you can see that we've made our stream overlay a bit longer. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to add our webcam. So we're going to go to our shape tool over here. Uh, you might want to click and hold and then just use the rectangle tool. Click once and then uh, we can actually put in the dimensions for the size we want our square to, or our rectangle to be. So we want it to be 1280 by 720. So let's just change that. And OK, so we're just going to press OK. And uh, we're using these dimensions just because these are the dimensions that streamers usually use for their webcams. Uh, yeah, so um, once we've done that, we're going to resize it. So we're going to press Command T, and then we can actually hold Shift and drag it to the size that we want it to be. And OK, that'll be fine. And then we can just click on the tick at the top. OK, so now that we've done that, we're going to go to our properties window that just that should have popped up when you made your shape. If it didn't pop up, you have all these options up here as well. And uh, we're going to remove the fill. So to do that, we're going to click on this square right here. And we're going to click on this icon just to make it transparent. And we're going to go to our stroke and we're going to make it a black. And now we can actually increase the pixels and decide how thick we want this border to be. And uh, I think this should be fine. So we'll go for about 20 pixels, something like that. And uh, yeah, so we're going to move them a bit closer together. And OK, so now that we've got our basis for our stream overlay, now we're going to uh, add our picture. So we're going to click. Just drag in the picture that we want to use and then now we're going to resize it. We're going to hold shift just so we don't resize it like this because we want to keep it proportionate and we don't want to stretch it. So we want to hold shift and um, we want to find the right place for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the opacity down just like that and now we can actually match it up with where we want it to pop out. So I think we're going to make it a bit smaller and um, okay that'll be fine just because we don't want it to take too much of the webcam up and uh, yeah. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to press on the tick and then we're going to increase the opacity down, I mean up, we're going to increase it up back up to 100% and now we need to decide where we want, what we want to pop out. So in this case, I'm going to want this car to pop out from the webcam and uh, the banner. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pen tool around the car. So I'm just going to use our pen tool by pressing P on our keyboard and then we're just going to pen tool around the car. Okay, so now that we've made our selection, what we're going to do now is we're going to right click, go to make selection and uh, make sure that this is on zero and that empty alias is checked. We're going to press OK and now we can just press Command J and uh, you won't notice the, dif uh, the difference immediately but when we hide our um, original photo layer, you can see that we've actually taken the car out of the photo. But um, yeah, so now that we've done that, we're going to, we're going to merge the webcam and the um, the banner together just so we can actually use a clipping mask on this background picture. I wouldn't usually do this for uh, stream overlays but it just makes this effect a lot easier. So to do that we're going to right click 
and uh, so we're not, not going to right click, we're going to hold shift and select both of our layers, then we're going to press command E and now you can see that we've actually put both of the, um, the webcam and the banner onto one layer and now we can show our uh, background image again and then we're going to right click on the background image and then go to create clipping mask and now you can see that the background image has basically stuck itself to the uh, to the um, to the layers below it, which is the banner and the webcam. So now we need to do now what we need to do is fill up all this black space. So to do that, we're going to use our make selection tool right here and um, make sure that we have our background image selected. And then we're just going to select a part of the banner that we're going to copy into the black area. So like you said, I just got, I just used, I just selected this area right here and then we're going to press V on our keyboard to use our selection tool. We're going to hold Alt and then I'm just going to drag across. Oh wait, no, no, no. First we need to rasterize it. So we're going to right click on the layer, go to rasterize layer and then we're just going to hold Alt and then click. Oh, hold Alt and then click across just like that. And uh, now you can see we've actually got rid of that black space. But what we can actually see is that we have um, this uh, this cutoff point here, you can actually notice it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool right here, and um, we're going to. It works the same as a brush tool, so we can just use our square bracket keys to resize the brush, and then we're just going to click over the area, click and drag, and now you can see it kind of just covers up the area, and uh, you wouldn't notice that the co that the area was just copied across, and it actually works really well. And uh, yeah, so now that we've done that, we now we need to cover up all the black space on the webcam as well. So we're going to go to our background image again, go to our make selection tool and then we're just going to click on the area or select an area that we want to copy downwards and now that we've done that we're going to press V and we again hold alt to just keep dragging down and uh, you might want to move it a bit just so you can't, just so it's a bit uh, harder to tell that it's just been copied and uh, yeah so okay that should be fine and then you just press command D to undo the selection it doesn't really matter if it is a bit obvious that it has been copied down because we're going to be blurring it anyway and uh, yeah so it'll be a lot harder to tell and uh, yeah so now that we've done that we're going to now fill up this area so we're going to take a selection from over here and uh, we're just going to copy this across and if we did want to we can press command T on our selection and then we can actually rotate it and flip it so we're going to right click and then we're going to go to flip horizontal and then you can see that we've basically just flipped the uh, the selection over and then we press enter to stop the selection and then press command D and uh, yeah so now that, we, now that we've done that now we need to make a new selection and then we're just going to keep um, keep uh, duplicating it downwards again it will, it will be pretty easy to tell that this has just been duplicated but uh, we're just going to blur it and it should be fine uh, okay I think we're going to flip this one just to make a bit harder to tell so we're going to press command T again flip horizontal and then just like that so it's really easy to do and um, yeah so it might just get take a bit of getting used to and uh, we're just going to copy this part and then we're just going to drag this part across uh, until there that should be fine okay uh, okay so now we're going to press command D to undo the selection and uh, we're actually going to use the same tool to kind of uh, change these cutoff points so we're going to go back to this tool right here, click and drag over the area, and uh, it might be a bit harder for this one, but uh, yeah, that looks fine. It kind of just blends them together. And uh, if you're watching the stream, you really wouldn't know that you wouldn't examine the stream overlay enough to know that oh, that's been copied. That that's been copied down. So uh, yeah, so it should be fine. And okay, so now that we've done that, now we need to blur the uh, the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the background picture. And then we're going to go to uh, convert to smart object just because this will help us when blurring. And uh, we're gonna, now we're going to go to blur, filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. If you don't want to blur it too much, I think this will be fine. Um, I might actually increase it just a bit. So probably about, I'll probably say about around two. It depends on the picture that you're using. And uh, yes, yeah, so now that we've done that, we're going to click on our smart layers um, uh, mask right here. And then we're going to go to our brush tool by pressing B on our keyboard. Make sure that our foreground color is black. And then we can just start clicking on the areas that we don't want to be blurred. So we can just start clicking around the car. And then I'm going to do one in the very corner down here as well. So now you can see that this part down here and uh, the parts around the car are no longer blurred. Whereas the, whereas the other parts are blurred. And uh, that's perfect. Now we're going to add a bit of a blur to the car as well. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to right click go to convert to smart object 
and then we're going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur, and uh, we're going to blur it a bit less for this one, I think. Um, I think that will be fine. So we're going to blur it by 1.1 pixels. Press OK. We're going to go to our smart smart filters mask, and then we're going to go back to our brush tool by pressing B on our keyboard, and then we can just click on the areas that we don't want to be blurred. So we're only going to do the back, I think. So uh, the side will be blurred. It just adds a bit of depth to the to the design, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to, going to use our adjustments tab and change the colors up a bit. So if you don't have your adjustments tab open, just go to filter, uh, not, not filter, we're going to go to window and adjustments. And uh, we're going to go to brightness and contrast, and we're going to increase the contrast a bit. And then we'll also increase the brightness a bit, just to liven up. And I just kind of like the way, I mean, the effect that it has on the, uh, on the picture. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're now going to add a light source. So what we're going to do is, we're going to make a new layer. Uh, the light source isn't really necessary, but I just kind of like the way it looks sometimes, so I just like to add it. And uh, yeah, so now that we made our new layer, we're going to go to our colors, and we're going to make sure the white is our foreground color, and then um, we're going to make our brush a bit bigger, and we're going to click once in the very corner of the design, and uh, you can see it's a bit overpowering, and we don't really want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower the opacity down, and uh, yeah, okay, that should be fine. And yeah, so it looks pretty cool. And um, yeah, so now we're going to add the text. So we're going to press T on our keyboard, and I'm just going to uh, just click once, zoom in a little, and then I'm just going to type tutorial. And uh, we can hold command, uh, hold command, and we just drag out using shift. And uh, we can just hold command again, and we can reposition it just like that. Uh, you could either there's two ways I like to use text in this, um, or add a layer style to this text. Either just leave it like that, leave the text white and then double click on the layer to get our layer styles and then add a drop shadow and then we'll just lower the opacity down it looks kind of cool like that and it just kind of looks like the, the text is popping out as well just because it's in front of the car or we could just move the um, move the, to the text behind the car just like that just so it's going behind and then we can set the blending mode to overlay and um, oh that didn't change <laughs> and then we're going to change the blending option to overlay and then uh, press Command T, and we can resize it a bit, just so it isn't, just so it's actually readable, and uh, it's not covered up too much. So, um, okay, that should be fine. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's basically how I do this tutorial, guys. It, I, in my opinion, it looks pretty cool. And uh, if you did find this tutorial useful, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.